Hello, you was facing. Welcome back to another video. Tygon here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips to play Call of Duty Mobile like a pro. This is gonna be a much shorter video, so I'm gonna give you guys the info and leave you with some gameplay. Click the like button if I end up helping you with this video, and don't forget to hit the bell button if you choose to subscribe. So, without further ado, let's begin. Tip numero uno set your HUD invisible. And the reason for this is because you want to have a clear line of sight. You're already playing on a mobile device, so your fingers are going to be in the way. Yes, your brain, uh, you know, removes your fingers from the area. Well, mine does it, at least. I completely forgot my fingers are there. But they are still there, and they can cover up a decent amount of your screen. So make sure you set your HUD to invisible. And this is one, as I said previously, because it allows you to see better and see more objects and people in the corners and it gives you a better muscle memory and what i mean by this is sometimes you may be trying to get a kill and you may hit the wrong area for the button and you miss that kill because hey maybe you put your thumb a bit about a centimeter away from the shoot button if you have it invisible you're always going to remember where it is but do remember you do need to have your hud set for this so you can't just have create a new hud and do this like so when you create a new type of hud i do recommend having it visible once again and two other things that go hand in hand with this tip is to not keep your hands off the device and what i mean by this is have your hands always really hovering over the button you want to use you may inadvertently tap it too early sometimes but you'll get used to it but by doing this you'll be able to get to your buttons faster and lastly, for this tip, since it's really been about clarity, make sure to clean your device. A lot of times you can get something on your phone and you may think it's an enemy, but it's just a speck of dirt. And I'm not even joking, especially if you have one of those cases that have a screen protector built in and you can take off the screen protector. So just make sure to have your phone clean. Step two, straight. Make your joystick a bit smaller, and when Global comes out, I really do hope they add a lock feature so you can lock your joystick in one location because that's how I like to play. I don't like my joystick moving all around because sometimes I have my thumb all the way at the top of the phone just because of how I play. Anyway, you want to have your joystick really small, not too small, but just small enough so the movement is a bit, um, so the movement is quicker when you're trying to straight. Make sure it's a relatively random pattern. Don't let people predict your strafing patterns because then you might as well have just stayed still. After that, you need to be careful. And what I mean by this is don't strafe if your accuracy level is not there yet because it's just going to hurt you in the long run. So this is a basically give and take type of skill. Don't use it unless you're at that level. Also remember when you're in cover strafe as well even though it seems like you're in cover you're safe if you're peeking out make sure to strafe in that little area because it can make a difference just remember that strafing is very valuable and it will put people off a lot they will miss their shots not to mention the fact this is a mobile game people are not that accurate compared to other games so strafing will greatly help you and moving will greatly help you and a lot of the tips in this video are based upon moving so stay tuned tip three stop jumping in a game when jumping is necessary and it's the only tool to use yes use the mess out of that jump button but this is called the mobile guys we can slide we can literally do a whole bunch of other stuff so don't just jump when you jump everyone's gonna predict that it's just happened so much and everyone just goes hmm you know what? i can get that it's much easier to hit someone who's jumping than someone who's sliding i don't know if you remember that i said this in a video a bit later um previously and i'm gonna include it in this video as well but when you crouch or when you lay down it's harder for people to hit you i mean when you lay down it's hard for you to get back up but Imagine laying down and then moving across the floor. That's what sliding allows you to do. So when you're sliding, people can't really hit you. And the best place to do this is when you're up close and personal with them. So dash, have fun dashing, but never dash straight at an enemy. When you're going across the corner, dash, because people are gonna always try to shoot you when you go across corners and it's really just gonna piss you off if they catch you because of the little lag and latency so dash if you're dashing when you cross that corner they're gonna be still pointing at shoulder height and they're not gonna expect you to hmm, drop down so low so make sure you always slide and dash next tip four dash and crouch i know 
right? They go hand in hand. Dash is important and crouch is just as important. I don't know if you saw my how to kill faster video, which I will have a link to in the description as well as in the end and a title card in the corner, but it's really important to crouch. I was able to get two triple kills in less than five seconds using this technique. Always dash, I'm not always dash, but always crouch. Go up and down, up and down when you're trying to get a lot of kills without getting hit. This works for dashing as well. Dashing and crouching are both very important. But the problem is they use the same button. And if you have your selection to, you know, dash immediately, it is way harder to crouch. So what I want you guys to do is to deselect always run and then go into the settings of always run and make sure it is set at 100% or a very high number. This way you can still run and you can walk. So when you're walking it allows you to crouch so this way you can get your crouching ability in and you can get your dashing ability in without any of the ones hindering each other hope you get what i mean now next after that we have the last tip which is tip five lethal and tacticals so the best lethal is the tripwire it's so annoying i hate running into it but i love using it it's really good especially if you're sniping or just trying to hold a general area you can go to a objective for example domination and get people to come to a particular objective throw one of those bad boys down run away and they either have to run into the grenade or they have to stop see it and in that little moment of hesitation you can take them out so another thing about this category i really just want to speak about lethals and tacticals the best tactical is the emp because it can take out enemy score streaks such as sentry guns or at least damage them and it can take out any lethals that are electronic kind of like the tripwire so use hardwired so you don't get killed by the tripwire just so you don't set it off and this will save you so many deaths and save you so many lost kill streaks and lost score streaks so make sure to use hardwired when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile especially when you get into the higher levels because everyone's gonna be just spamming that just to get that extra kill I mean they get one every time they are reborn so why not just throw one out and you guys should think this in the same mindset lastly for tip 5 set grenade settings to release immediately it is incredibly annoying when you first get in and you have to hit the grenade and then you have to hit shoot. It's not PUBG, you don't have enough time to do that. So make sure that button hits immediately once you click the grenade. Now, I'm gonna leave you guys with a bonus tip because I don't like how six tips look. So here we go. Use quick draw and agile perks. I may have mentioned this in another video, but it does still hold true. This really does allow you to aim faster after mantling, and this tip video is really about mantling and, you know, movement. Movement in this game is very important as it's one of the very few or only mobile shooter games that I have seen with a jump and a slide button. And after that, Spam ADS and aim down sights when you strafe to move faster. And what I mean by this is just basically zoom in, just basically aim and scope in whatever gun you have and move side to side. This will allow you to strafe faster. Also have the perk that allows you to move faster while aiming down sights. And all the types of perks and all the, the types of attachments that allow this as well. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. But before I go, let me know which tip helped you out the most in the comments below. Thanks for checking me out, and if this video did not help you, that's too bad, but I hope I can aid you next time. However, if it did, hit the like button if you want to see more of my content, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get more COD Mobile news, tricks, and tips. Diagon out.